Hello Scorpio! Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel. I'm Chandra Lynn. And this is going to be your general reading for the full moon um, in the beginning of November. It's not date specific, but it is pattern specific and cycle specific. So depending on what you're going through and how you can trace it back in your cycles and whatnot, can be beneficial. Um, for those of you who are new, hi, welcome. For those of you who've been here a while, like I'm back. And then the most amazing thing is I got told um, earlier this week um, by guides and everything that I'm going to be able to stay in this energy. So that's really exciting. And so next week, um, I will have a posting of all the services and everything else that is available. So this is for the Awaken, for the Ascending Twin Flames, but like really focused on you energy. Um, this is for, yeah, this is for you. Um, but please remember it is general, so take it how it resonates with you in your life and your situations and your experiences and disregard all the rest. And I am asking for um, just a little, like a little taste, what, what you have exited, what you're in, and what you will be moving into for Scorpio. Okay, so you got the tsunami and the wake-up call. It came flying out first. Like I'm picking up like this shitstorm came in and something else has come up in there. It's like all of it piled on top of each other or like all of it has crumbled onto... And now it's completely got DNA karma. It's not that card. So first card out was the Tsunami with Wake Up Call. Then DNA with Karma. So this is the current energy. Um, and then the energy that you are coming into is this Eagle Communion. So... This tsunami, this wake-up call, it feels like it was just one thing, like this, this shit storm happened, and then this shit storm happened, and then this shit storm happened, and there was little to no cleanup in between the shit storms, so now the shit storm, shit storm is mixed in with the shit storm, shit storm. Um, there's a, it's it's very important, like it feels like, holy crap, completely like mind glitching when contemplating on how to even begin to, to clean it up, right? And that's because you've got this DNA, this karma thing. All right, so base, okay, so shitstorms, we're not your shit. Um, that's where the DNA karma is coming in. In a sense, like whatever this storm was, where you, these storms, it's almost like um, uh, 
a crumbling because you're no longer like allowed to interfere in it because none of it's your mess. None of it's your mess. And you feel that, right? You feel that because this, I, if this is family, but it's like, I can just, it's, it's like you prepared for something and then somebody else went and did something else, but didn't put it back. And so it wasn't secured. Um, almost like uh, recognizing, like, you know, there was a list of things that had to get done. It was divvied up. Everybody was responsible for X, Y, and Z on their own end. And... Others didn't take care of their X, Y, Z. Okay. Um, there's see like how oh, this heaviness just hit me like, holy crap, this heaviness of like having, it's almost like knowing it was there, but having it verbalized just confirmed to you like, holy crap. The shit is never going to get cleaned up because more shit's created faster than you can clean it up and it is not your shit. And so there's this heaviness of like, well, how do I, what can I do about it? And, um, that's where the communion, that's where this communion, man, like it's almost like a, it's heavy on you. And that's where this eagle, this communion is coming in because it's more, it's more of a you coming into dialogue with yourself you being more accepting of what you are actually seeing and where you are actually putting your energy. Because it is, if you're, if you are, if you are this person who recognizes that under these conditions or yada, 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 there's preparedness, like a sense of been through this, we're going to make it as easy as possible. And the energies that you have been with have been uh, um, they're not as far along in their evolution they're it's in a sense um, less life experience um and also a sense of going without these energies have never experienced uh, what it's like when shit isn't secured and it's taken away. Um, this is, it feels like the beginning, it feels like you're in the middle of releasing a lot of people like just becoming becoming aware that you have attracted or the like awareness that those that you attract yourself attract to yourself and those that you find appealing um, seem to be, uh, non-beneficial to your survival. It's almost like you have this sense of like, I feel like if I continue doing this, it's going to kill me. Let's get a angels, ancestors, guides card but I want to say that a lot yes it's really nice 
keep that beautiful self-dialogue talk up because you Like, I keep seeing, like, I keep seeing somebody go, well, I'll do it this time. I'll do it this time. And you're like, then show me. Show me. And they're like, oh, well, I need you. No, show me. Because I'd rather conserve my energy and wait and see if I've got to use it to hike 20 miles away from this dumbass. It's like I, there is no more, there is no more to put into it, you know. You've depleted your, your fuel reserves for this. And you, in a sense, have awareness. Magic guardian, unlock the magic within. Yeah, it's like there's this sense of knowing that you've got like a cache, like a cache of fuel somewhere else and you know you have enough fuel to get there um and uh but that's all you have enough fuel for like you're really upholding your boundaries like there there is no more there there is no more if if even like three percent of your fuel was utilized correctly, things would be in a different state. Um, but there was no action at all. And whatever it was, it, it was, it was not a solo project. It required multiple sets of hands is what I'm being shown and I get the sense that it's almost like you you're hoping that they're going to like this energy is going to become aware and start um taking action but what I see is like this pitiful childlike you know like I'm wiping down the table. Do you see? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Don't wipe until they're watching. Don't wipe until they're watching. And then, like, you know, 80% of the table is still filthy. And I want to say that that feels like a snapping energy, like a triggering energy for you. Um... Because what I'm, what this, what she is saying to me is like, you know, um, you can choose, like, you know, you know that there, there, it was, in a sense, it's like, there's no more, uh, it was a, f like, a, f flawed investment like you invested and there was no return right now there's this energy of you can look at this as a beautiful lesson you can look at it as a way of gauging just what amazing energy you have and you put into it and that you put into it and so there is all of that knowledge and wisdom and understanding of holy crap I survived here all of this time now, you have this inner knowing, um, and it's almost like a direct, you know how to get there, um, and you've got enough energy to get there. You can choose to go ahead and choose, um, but what I'm being told is this other energy is very, it's, it's almost like the you'll have an awareness of if you stay to observe or interact with these energies, it's going to become very distasteful. It's, it's almost, um, very toddler temper tantrum like energy. And it's going to be vicious. 
because it's it feels like its survival is in danger and in a way it's the way it did survive is in danger so it's going to be very vicious this communion is to keep you company as you choose to use what you have what you have to get you where you it's almost like um you for like almost like a, a backup that you were unaware that you had a backup of. Okay. Let me get a message card, please. And then next week I will be extending off of these right uh, these readings. Keep going. See? Told you. So I love you, Scorpio. I hope this helps you and I will see you next week.